Hello everybody, it's Joshino and today I'm back with another Should I Play? And today the game I'm looking at is called Minimum. It's a bit of a cross of a MOBA, third person shooter and a general sort of team deathmatch game. But whether or not it's more MOBA and shooter I'll get into a little bit later. So graphically, Minimum actually does have quite a minimal style, which goes with its title. But to be honest, it is actually a very nice looking game and that it isn't very simple as you might think. First off, you start as a naked sort of sick man, but as you upgrade your, your armor and your, your weapons, you slowly become a big like armored, almost like mech type samurai. And the environments are pretty beautiful, even though they're minimally textured, they're very like pan texture where there's just one texture on a wall, but there's a lot of lighting and everything is just all clicks together. It looks a lot like the minimalism in Q World if anyone's played that, or other games of the genre, maybe a bit Minecraft-esque, but uh, not quite there. But the, there are different maps, like there's a uh, map set in factories, there's a map set in the prehistoric ages. Gameplay wise, it, there's two titans in the titan mode, which is most most interesting to me because it's almost like a, a cross between a, a Dota, a, it's almost a cross between a MOBA and a shooter. Basically there's two titans on, on each side of the map and they go towards the centre of the map and clash with each other. And once one's fallen, the one that dies, the enemy's team becomes the attacker and they try and attack the base. And also in the middle there's also creeps spawning which are little spiders and you have to try and kill them to get different materials to try and craft better armor and uh, better items for yourself and your team. The interesting point where there's different contention and uh, how people sort of specialize is where you, you choose your weapons. There's lots of different weapon loadouts and as you kill somebody you pick up a power up and that power up levels up your weapon and you get different special abilities with by leveling up that weapon, for example, a sniper rifle that s starts freezing people once you level it up, or the shotgun, as I, I really enjoyed actually, because it sets you on fire and you start running around a lot faster, um, and other things like that. And um, there's a there's a, the assault rifle which just spreads more bullets out. And there's some interesting grenades, like there's the sentry grenade which I like throwing around. But I do think it is a little linear compared to other MOBAs like Dota or whatever where you have heroes and you have lots of sets of abilities. It is almost like a normal shooter because even in games like Call of Duty or Battlefield you have a big sort of variety of what weapons you can use. But th there are interesting uh, skills and as I said the, it's interesting when you become the shotgun wielder and you set on fire. So the variation is there but I would like some more vari variation to be honest. And it's a very fun game to sort of hop in and have a few games of, but I don't think there's too much tactics involved in how you play the game, rather than just sort of an individual skill, almost like a twitch shootery sort of. Oh, it's, well, to be fair, with the shotgun, it's quite like a quake game, jumping around the map, trying to get as many kills as possible, and then trying to stop their titan getting to your point. But it was too hectic, and because of the lack of skills, there wasn't too much tactics going on, and our team didn't really organized together in a tactical manner. Anyway, and why I'm mentioning this game as well is because there's a few other games of this sort of genre where it's a shooter or sort of action MOBA, which I'm fairly interested in. There's one upcoming one called Gigantic, which looks absolutely stunning and is in, op is in closed beta at the moment, but it's strictly under a non-disclosure policy, so even if I was playing it, I wouldn't be able to say. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> That game looks like it's shaping up well and from what the screenshots and the videos have shown it is quite an interesting action MOBA with a lot more skills involved. Uh, just like every hero in Dota for example has four, about four skills that they can use and that sort of variation adds a lot of different elements that a team can use in a fight and makes a strategy more of an element. And also there's Overwatch, Blizzard's new sort of action shooty MOBA type game which does look very interesting as well, sort of more like an Unreal Tournament-esque version or, or take on the MOBA genre. But, and uh, I do think that whilst Minimum isn't such a massively varied game full of tactics, it's very fun to hop in and have a few games of, and at the moment it's £6 or so on the Steam store, but I got it for about £1 or £2 when it was on sale, which I thought was completely worth it, and I'd say I, I'm glad that I bought it because it is a fun game. But whether or not it's worth £6 at the moment, I'm not sure, which is I think $9.99.
if it came down again into a sale, I'd definitely jump on that and get it. There are some servers out there, people playing, so it's a fun game to hop into. And it is promising how it plays and how the action MOBA genre can pan out and it might be something that's quite big in the future with the uh, two big games coming out very soon. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please comment, like, subscribe, you know the jazz. Until next time everybody, Joshino.